So this is my thoughts on Ryzen's Red Ripper in i9. Now they got the i9X. So thoughts about this. My thoughts are that okay, AMD's been playing in this for a while now. Apparently they've had all the motherboard manufacturers in the loop about what's going on. So they've been preparing for it. Uh, now, I think this is more of a gimmick. I mean, but I mean, it can be. The motherboard companies are taking it serious because they're making the motherboards for this huge 399 chipset. And their Intel came out, you know, in their direct competition with AMD. So Intel went out to the motherboard manufacturers to say, hey, here's this new processor where we're gonna start making it. But they originally were gonna make, you know, probably just a 12 core, but then AMD came out with their 16 core and they're like, oh, look at me, look at me. I got an 18 core. And I mean, and, and they just, they some of the functions like the lower PCI lanes, uh, I just, I think Intel's rushing it, and word on the street, they're gonna sit back and see if AMD kind of just falls flat on their face with this. So, I mean, this this chip's gotta be, I'm saying AMD's gonna be around, probably around $1,000 the first month it launches, and Intel, of course, is always going to be higher, but who knows? I mean, they're the bigger corporation. They can afford to put a chip out cheaper than AMD can. So, I, I don't know what Intel's waiting around for. I mean, we all seen them reveal the Threadripper. So, why doesn't Intel just come out Throw it on the market before AMD. I mean, AMD says they're going to release it this month and get it out there and be the number one and have consumers buy their product first. I don't, I mean, I think they're still in the fine tuning. The motherboard manufacturers are probably trying to figure out a BIOS for both of these chips and let alone the accessories that are going to go with it. I mean, m most of all, the CPU coolers. I, I mean, some of these CPU coolers do have a pretty big block on them, like the AIOs and some of them do, but some of them don't. And, and I mean, that's a whole manufacturing process that it's it's like a car that you buy and you gotta wait two years from to make a cold air intake for it. I mean, it's gonna be a while for most of these parts they hit that extreme level with overclocking and they say that the uh, and the intels is overclockable and that of course the the new ryzen 9 which they they say they're not going to call it the ryzen 9 they're going to call it the thread ripper so it's going to be a hardcore enthusiast chip slash workstation and i'm just wondering what's going to support it who all's gonna gonna make the CPU coolers for it. Is it gonna be reasonable? And how soon until they make another chip because they figure out everybody's not gonna rush out and buy this thing because they gotta buy a five, $600 motherboard too. So what are your thoughts on this? You tell me the stats are out there and I'm kinda, I, I'm, I'm kinda rooting for AMD. And I mean, but basically these chips just look like a bunch of chips mashed together and I think they they could have waited you know a couple months and actually had a chip that was a little bit smaller but I mean maybe if they get everybody to switch to these bigger chips there's a lot more that they can shove into them and there's a lot more that we can get in the future I mean that is the brain of your system plus the RAM and some of these I mean the RAM kind of has that multi-function in the CPU so let's just wait and see what's going to happen. There's going to be a few that are going to rush out and buy this thing. But I'm saying that here in the near future, six months to a year afterwards, definitely a year afterwards, they're going to have something totally different or 
the entire world's gonna switch over to these big processors and they're just gonna cram as much in there as they can and that's gonna be the standard from now on. So let me know what you're thinking. This is Tech Lifeline, I'm Dustin. Talk to you later.